What's going on everyone? It's your boy Collector Crow here at the Collector's Nest. So if you watched my previous manga unboxing video from Right Stuff, you'd know that there's still something in here. And I don't know what it is. So back on April 1st, Right Stuff offered April Fool's mystery boxes for 79 cents each. And me being the uncontrollable impulse of spender that I am, I thought... 79 cents? That's a good deal. So I thought, hey, let's open them together and reap what I have sown. Now I have no idea what's in here. It could be DVDs, it could be books, it could be lingerie maybe? I don't know. It's a mystery box. Point being, probably I'm not going to end up wanting to keep a lot of this stuff. So be on the lookout for another giveaway coming up, possibly for a subscriber milestone. I know we just had the One Piece manga giveaway not too long ago, so uh, I'll save this one for something coming up, maybe like 100 subscribers or something like that. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. So I'm just actually going to reach in and pull out because I don't want to spoil it too early. All right. <laughs> we have Princess Raccoon, a DVD. The back tagline says, In the forest, no one can hear you dream. To lovers of romance, there is nothing unusual in the story of how Amachio, an exiled prince, meets the exotic and mysterious girl, Tanaki, in the forest and becomes smitten with her beauty. However, when he discovers she is actually the Princess Raccoon, <laughs> Usual takes a holiday and the unlikely pair fall in love, despite everyone's warnings. When tragedy strikes after the celebration of the princess's unbirthday, only true love can save her. This sounds weird. So I don't know if you can see the back here, but there's like some raccoon people up in this box here. Yeah, Princess Raccoon. I don't know. Now, Right Stuff did say there might be some duplicates in here, so we might be getting doubles on a few things. Next, we have Patrui Sweet... I, this is another language. I don't know what it says. Rolling in the Sky. The Patrui Suisse, forgive my pronunciation, is proud of its long history dating back to January of 1964 when the team was first formed, the same year the Red Arrows of the British Air Force was established. Same year. This video was shot over a period of four consecutive weeks at the 1991 air show in Switzerland, celebrating the country's 700th year of independence. Aerial footage was shot in April of 1992 during the Patrui Suisse training session by the use of a micro camera affixed to the exterior of the aircraft. The breathtaking panoramic view of the 3,000 meter high Swiss Alps in the background projects an awesome shot of six hunter aircrafts in flight. So this actually sounds pretty cool. The problem being, I have like zero interest in this topic. But, I mean, it, it's cool. I mean, it's like an actual event that happened. It's not a documentary exactly, but I guess just a record. So that, that's cool. Oh, this one's thin. Lee Van Cleef, Carol Baker, and Stuart Whitman in... Captain Apache. Sometimes the Wild West was murder. Lee Van Cleef stars in the Spaghetti Western as Captain Apache, a Native American U.S. Army officer. He is sent to investigate the murder of an Indian agent and his only clue is the phrase, April morning. As he gets closer to solving the case, he uncovers an elaborate plot to assassinate the president. That went from 0 to 100 real fast. Uh, yeah, so a Western? Very thin DVD. There's a lot of Ginny on entertainment stuff in here. By a lot, I mean two. This one's thin also. Have a nice funeral. Murder, mystery, and one cool hero. Johnny Jarko. <laughs> Is that supposed to be Donnie Darko? Plays legendary hero Sartana in the first sequel to If You Meet Sartana, Pray For Your Death. This time, Sartana is in the town of Indian Creek, where he stumbles upon a massacre in a cabin in the desert. It's a lot of, uh, in, a, in, the, 
He starts to investigate the murders and finds that everyone in town is eager to buy the worthless land of the murder victims. Everyone is suspect, even the sheriff, and it is up to Sartana to solve the murder mystery. Maybe, I mean, I like, I like mysteries. Like, sounds like it could be a thriller type thing. We have a nightingale sing in Berkeley Square. Based on one of the biggest real-life bank robberies in history, Richard Jordan plays American ex-con Pinky Green who lands a job through a series of mishaps by his bumbling parole officer at a prominent London bank. But when an old cohort of Pinky's, Ivan the Terrible, David and Ivan, realizes that Pinky is working at a bank, Ivan wants in on the action. Before he realizes what is happening, Pinky is getting hooked into robbing the bank with Ivan. I have never heard of, like, any of these. Where do they? Where did they pull these? These April Fool's box. Yeah, that that's pretty accurate. The Crooked Way. He's lost his memory, but not his past. John Payne plays Eddie Rice, a wounded war veteran who has lost his memory. As he heads to Los Angeles to try and figure out his identity, two police detectives arrest him. Turns out he is really Eddie Riccardi, a former employee of the notorious mob boss Sonny Tufts. No one, especially his ex-wife, seems happy to see Eddie again. When he is framed for murder, he must find the real killer and clear his name by navigating through the crooked underbelly of Los Angeles. Everyone wants a piece of Eddie Rice. Uh, so if I do a giveaway for these, uh, I will say I might watch them, so they might be used at the time. Um, somehow I kind of doubt that I'm actually going to get around to these, but you never know. Could provide some fun entertainment one evening. Ooh, a thick boy. Oh, <laughs> this is certainly interesting. The Vans Warped Tour Live. Cool swag inside. Anything from discounts on your tour merchandise for 2003 to a lifetime all-access pass to all future Vans Warped Tour shows. Live performances by Newfound Glory, Bad Religion, Mighty Mighty, Boss Stones, is that one thing? Something Corporate, Flogging Molly, MXPX, Nofx, Real Big Fish, hey, I know that one. The Used, Lag Wagon, No Use for a Name, Anti-Flag, Alkaline Trio, Hot Water Music, Morgan Heritage, Ozma, and Gob. I'm not even going to read the back summary of this one. It just sounds like it's the Warp Tour Live, which that is kind of neat. I mean, I've never been really into the Warp Tour stuff. Like, I had some friends who would talk about it every so often. But, um, I mean, yeah, that, that's, that's cool if you really like, you know, the live music scene, especially the type of bands that play at Warped. And now we have Bad Man's River. The con is on. Hey, we have Lee Van Cleef. Didn't we have him earlier? Yeah, Lee Van Cleef is just, uh, he's getting around. During the volatile Mexican Revolution, Roy King, Lee Van Cleef, gets drawn into a scheme with two other criminals, James Mason and Gina Lala Brigid Brigidia, Brigida. That's the actor and actress to swindle the Mexican government out of $1 million. When the three con artists are captured by a rebel gang, they find themselves fighting the Mexican army. I mean, I guess. Spiritual Earth, Crystal Water. Visit the Antarctic Ocean, where you will view all the animals and fish that inhabit these waters. Soothing music accompanies you on a trip to the coldest waters in the world. Featuring chapters including Antarctica, Crystal Water, Illumination, also known as Jellyfish, Crystal Palace, Confined to the Ice, Strange Creature, Crystal Dance, Crinoid, Below South, Graceful Weddell Seal, and Antarctica, A Place in My Heart. I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of interested in this. I like casual zoology and um, videos about animals and environments and biomes, so... Uh, this is actually kind of cool. I'll, I'll probably will watch this one. It sounds like something that's up my alley. So I believe we are on our very last item here. And we have again Berkeley Square. So we've got two copies of one of the biggest robberies in London. 
All right, so that does it for our blind box opening here for the April Fool special. Let me know if there's any of these that you'd actually be interested in getting for a giveaway because I want to know if I'm the only one who has like heard of zero of these except, you know, the Warped Tour. If you have an interest in any of them, let me know and we'll try to do a giveaway in the future. And if you ordered any of the Right Stuff blind boxes yourself, definitely let me know what you got in the comments. If you got something really cool and interesting or if your pools were just kind of as random and weird as this, or even more weird, possibly. All right, so that does it. Thanks for joining me, and I'll catch you next time.